Sometimes we all need a little extra helping hand to get us through the day, and animals are no different. Yes, that is a crow helping a hedgehog to cross the road. I bet you never thought you'd see that before, did you? But is everything as it seems? Well, you'll just have to stick around to find out. So grab the snacks, kick back, and relax as we take a look at some more weird, wonderful, and downright amazing things you'll see for the first time in your life. There are plenty of incredible births in the animal kingdom, but there's something special about watching the very first steps taken by a baby giraffe. Watching this little fella trying to find his feet at Albog Zoo in Denmark is like watching Bambi on ice. It may look clumsy, but giraffes are actually some of the fastest learning babies in the world. Giraffe moms, also known as cows, are pregnant for a whopping 15 months. This lengthy gestation period means that the calves are highly developed in the safety of their mother's womb before they enter the unforgiving world of the African savanna. In fact, most newborn calves already weigh a whopping 220 pounds and stand over six foot tall. Because of the large size of their offspring, giraffe moms give birth standing up, so they don't damage their baby's lengthy necks. The shock of the landing also helps stimulate the little giraffe to take its first breaths. As soon as they fall to the ground, they waste no time getting to their feet. In fact, they can usually stand within 30 minutes. When it comes to hitting the ground running, literally, giraffes have us totally beat. According to neuroscientist Dr. Jean-Marie Gregg from Italy's University of Padova, the calf's nervous system is ready at birth, like it would be of a one-year-old human child who is ready to walk. In fact, the average newborn giraffe starts walking over 10,000 times faster than the typical human. One reason why humans take so long to walk is because of our huge heads that house our whip-smart brains. But it's more important for giraffes to be quick than smart because they serve as prey to various predators. Not so clumsy after all, hey? Giraffes may have a leg up when it comes to standing on their own four feet, but there are plenty of things we can do that they can't. So why not demonstrate what makes us so special by smashing those like and subscribe buttons and playing around with that little bell icon. That way, you'll be the first to know when I upload more amazing content. All done, let's get back to it. Our bodies do loads of weird things that are hard to explain, but the most irritating has got to be hiccuping. In case you didn't know, hiccups are caused by involuntary contractions in your diaphragm, the muscle that separates your chest from your abdomen and helps you with your breathing. When we hiccup, we make a cute little hick <coughs> noise, but when cats hiccup, something even stranger happens. Check it out. Whoa, it looks like this little dude just saw his future. Cats can hiccup for a number of reasons. Sometimes it happens due to nerve irritation issues or chowing down on food too quickly and accidentally ingesting air at the same time. Other times, the contraction of their diaphragm could be a futile attempt to try and expel or move a hairball that is collected in their throat, but this only irritates things and prompts a hiccup instead. But why do their pupils dilate in such a freaky way? This bizarre phenomena is caused by a tiny release of the substance noradrenaline, caused by an activation of the sympathetic nervous system onto the pupillary dilator muscle. Cats' nervous systems are set up to easily dump noradrenaline in response to threats. This explains why cats are such naturally jumpy animals, because instant reaction to threats equals higher survival rates. Because hiccups are stressful to the body and effectively make us jump, the dilation of the pupils could be a visual representation of the cat scaring itself. Just when you thought they couldn't get any more adorable. Here's a question for you. Why did the crow cross the road? To help the hedgehog get to the other side, duh. It's not very often you see such a surprising display of affection between two unlikely animal friends, which is why one motorist in the town of Ogre in Latvia knew they had to whip out their smartphone and capture this moment on film. To their surprise, the crow seemed to nudge the hedgehog's butt to tell him to hurry up and cross the road safely. 
It might shock you to learn that crows are actually some seriously intelligent animals, despite having a reputation as pests. They have been observed exercising self-control, understanding analogies, and fashioning tools as well as socializing with other animals like domestic cats. In fact, recent research has even shown that crows operate with the same mental capacity of a seven-year-old child. But that revelation also contributes to a potentially darker side to this seemingly harmless clip. According to some, the crow could actually have been pecking at the hedgehog's butt because it knew the hedgehog would move, showing its head and making it easier to kill and eat. It would certainly be a horrifying twist in the tale, but others have also claimed that crows are far too intelligent to waste their time trying to kill an animal like a hedgehog. What do you guys think is going on in this seemingly cute clip? Is the crow giving the hedgehog a helping hand or sizing him up for dinner? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys have come across any weird, wonderful, or amazing things online that you feel we need to share with your fellow netizens, why not get in touch with us at clips at bmaze.com. You might even earn yourself a shout out if it gets featured in a future episode. Do you believe in ghosts? Well, what about underwater ghosts like this one? No matter how much we think we know about the ocean, there are plenty of weird, wonderful, and downright bizarre creatures lurking in the deep blue that can surprise us. This particularly ghostly creature was filmed over the Pacific seafloor at around 2,500 feet by deep sea scientists aboard the Nautilus research vessel in September 2019. Its appearance is part plastic bag and part alien, but what actually is it? This underwater blob is one of the rarest seen at least studied jellyfish in the sea, the deep staria jelly. You'll notice that this creature lacks stinging tentacles like other jellies, but the deep staria has another trick up its sleeve for ensnaring its prey. Instead, it can close the opening of its sac-like body to trap any prey that has unknowingly floated inside. When the researchers zoomed in on this shape-shifting jelly, they spotted a red blotch inside its stomach. It turns out the passenger was a still-living isopod, a type of bottom-feeding crustacean that may have willingly swum into the jelly's open body for protection from fiercer predators. Seems like this little fellow may just be the ocean's hide and seek champion. The deep story of jelly may be strange, but when it comes to marine oddities, the absolutely enormous sunfish might just come out on top. It may look like one huge floating head with fins, but this is actually the largest bony fish in the world. Sunfish, also known as Mola Mola, spend up to half the day basking in the sun near the surface of the water to warm their bodies after deep water hunting missions. This rare footage was captured on film by Miguel Pereira off the coast of Portugal in 2013. And as you can see, the creature totally dwarves the full-grown men swimming around it. In fact, the average sunfish is 10 feet long and weighs 2,200 pounds although the largest can be up to 5,000 pounds. That's heavier than a pickup truck. And if you think they look weird already, just wait until you see one from the front. <sighs> Despite their totally derpy appearance, sunfish are actually voracious predators. They usually hang out at depths of 160 to 650 feet and can travel several miles per day gorging themselves on a diet consisting mostly of the energy-rich parts of the jellyfish, the gonads and arms. Yummy. For years, these ginormous fish were classified as a type of plankton because of the way they seem to drift with the current. But recent research has shown that they are actually able to move independently. They have also been respected in ancient cultures for thousands of years. During the 1600s and 1700s, Japanese shoguns even accepted Mola Mola as payment for taxes. Now that has to be the strangest form of currency I've ever heard of. When I say the words magic, wizardry, and quidditch, what springs to mind? The Harry Potter franchise, penned by J.K. Rowling, is one of the most successful book series of all time, having sold more than 500 million copies worldwide. Even now that the films have wrapped and the actors are all grown up, there are still plenty of ways for hardcore Potterheads to get their fix. That's why King's Cross Station in London created a mock platform nine and three quarters complete with a luggage cart halfway through the wall for fans to take photographs with. For those of you who don't know, Hogwarts students use this elusive platform by running straight into the wall, but only witches and wizards can pass through. Seems like this guy didn't get the memo then. 
This wannabe wizard, known only as Pascal, thought he'd try his luck at entering Hogwarts the only way he knew how. As you can see, his plan didn't seem to work out too well. But the prankster didn't seem too bothered, screaming, It's close! in front of the bewildered crowd before running off into the distance. If you're a diehard fan, you'll recognize the reference from when Harry and Ron Weasley hit the closed wall in the second book of the series. But judging by the faces of some of the people in line, not everyone saw the funny side. There's no word on what happened to Pascal after the bizarre incident, but I sincerely hope he's having a great day. What's the weirdest thing you found washed up at the beach? A shoe, a message in a bottle perhaps? Well, what about this bulbous throbbing object? There's no need to be alarmed, people. This isn't quite what you think it is. In December 2019, beachgoers in Northern California were horrified when thousands of what seemed like disembodied weenies turned up on the shore. In reality, these phallic objects are actually just bizarre marine creatures called fat innkeeper worms, or Eurekis calpo. The fat innkeeper worm is a type of spoon worm. In order of non-segmented marine worms, they can be identified by a spatula-shaped proboscis used for feeding, grasping, and swimming. The worms spend most of their time inside a U-shaped burrow underground, which pokes up out of the ground like a little sand chimney. But how did so many of them end up on Drake's Beach in California? As it turns out, strong storms, like the one that conveniently hit Drake's Beach in December 2019, are perfectly capable of laying waste to the sandy homes of fat innkeeper worms, leaving their inhabitants stranded on the shores. Usually innkeeper worms, which measure around 10 inches in length, have a lifespan of 25 years, but most of the specimens in this mass stranding were sadly dead by the time they were discovered. Believe it or not, some species of innkeeper worm are even considered a delicacy in Korea and China and are often eaten raw with salt and sesame oil. Just remember ladies, if you're not satisfied at home, there are plenty more fish in the sea. There are some seriously trippy places in the world that'll have you questioning whether we're actually living in a simulation. Just take a look at this giant cartoon Kleenex poised perfectly on the top of a hill. No matter how hard you look at these photographs, it's hard to imagine that this is anything other than a work of Photoshop magic. But believe it or not, this is a real life outdoor sculpture located in the beautifully scenic hills of New Zealand. Check it out. The surreal artwork is titled Horizons and was created by Neil Dawson. To find it, you'll have to visit Gibbs Farm, 29 miles north of Auckland, which is an open air park containing the biggest collection of giant outdoor sculptures in New Zealand. Owner Alan Gibbs bought the property in 1991 to escape the English winter, and over the past 25 years, he's transformed the 400 hectares into a picturesque oasis that feels like a surreal dream come true. Dawson's sculpture is made from a welded and painted steel frame with sections featuring an interlocking woven pattern that creates the impression that the sculpture is 3D when viewed from a distance, when in reality, it's completely flat. Gibbs Park is open to the public on a select few days of the year, usually once per month, and even then it's strictly bookings only. So if you're hoping to get a glimpse at this enormous cartoon Kleenex IRL, you better clear your schedule and keep your eyes peeled for tickets. Most of us can only dream of going to space, but for some lucky people, that dream has become a reality. And being a bona fide astronaut certainly comes with some incredible perks. There's the literally out of this world views and the endless fun anti-gravity to start, but you can also pull off mind blowing feats like this. Back in January 2016, NASA astronaut Scott Kelly marked day 300 of a historic year in space by showing off another fascinating feature of microgravity liquid ping pong. It's pretty insane to watch, but how does it work? Kelly explained that he used two panels with hydrophobic features, meaning they repel water, which allows him to pass a floating sphere of H2O back and forth with ease. Kelly is playing around with a four milliliter drop, which for your information is over a hundred times larger than a raindrop, but as a general rule, the larger the drop, the less force it takes to break it up, meaning smaller drops can be hit much harder. Do you reckon liquid ping pong could catch on when humanity eventually leaves Earth behind? Can you spot the plan in this photograph taken in the mountains of southwestern China? It might take a while for your eyes to scan through all that rubble, but there's actually a little gray Fritillaria delavaii plant right there. It's not just hiding in plain sight, 
It's trying to hide itself from people. But why? These usually bright green plants often stand alone among the jumbled scree that tops the Himalayan and Hengduan mountains in southwestern China. But their bright appearances make them easy pickings for traditional Chinese medicine herbalists who have ground the bulbs of wild fritillaria into cough treating powder for over 2,000 years. To make just one kilogram of this powder, which is worth a whopping $480, about 3,500 bulbs are needed. So it's no surprise the plants are trying to hide. Surprisingly, this plant camouflage seems to have evolved in direct response to people preying on them. Researchers have reported that Fritillaria delavii from regions that experience greater harvesting pressure are more camouflaged than those from less harvested areas. But all that hiding might have some disadvantages too, as their dull coloring could hinder photosynthetic activity and might make it harder for pollinators to find them. But I guess that's just a compromise the plant has had to make. Evolution is crazy, dudes. Wouldn't it be great if we could understand animals? If you're feline confident about kitty communication, then why not take a stab at what these two are having a heated discussion about? Okay, so these aren't exactly your average domesticated moggies. This pair of lynx, a type of medium-sized wildcat, were spotted by Nicole Lewis in May 2018 near Avery Lake, which borders Ontario in Canada and Michigan. Although lynx are rarely spotted in Michigan, they are pretty common in the Denoric region of Ontario, close to where this pair were seen. Of course, Lewis stopped her car and knew she had to get her camera out to capture this truly bizarre sight on film. The two big cats didn't seem at all bothered by her presence and instead stood at the side of the path, facing off against each other with a series of progressive growls. This is so freaking cool. This is so cool. Who, who runs into this? Anyone else think they kind of sounded like middle-aged women pretending to be cats? The strangest part of this clip is that lynx are usually quite solitary creatures, which only tend to be seen together if it's a mother-daughter pairing. Although there hasn't been much research into lynx vocalizations and why they sound so bizarre, Mel and Fiona Sunquist, in their book Wildcats of the World, claim that lynx can mew, spit, hiss, and growl, as well as yowl, chatter, wawa, gurgle, and purr. That's a lot of noises for one animal to make. Scholar Gustav Peter says lynx mating calls are a series of intense mews, but that doesn't really sound like what's going on here either. This is so freaking cool. They may never know exactly what these two cats were having a screaming match about, but some animal biologists have speculated that it was probably a dispute over territory. Still, I choose to believe that they were just screaming, No, you're the weakest lynx! Woodlands and forests have earned a reputation for being a spooky place where anything could happen. But they're totally magical places as well. Don't believe me? Just take a look at this unbelievable rainbow swamp that Brent Rawson and his girlfriend stumbled upon while walking at First Landing State Park in Virginia back in 2018. The entrancing beauty of this strange sight makes it seem like a unicorn is about to emerge from the trees surrounded by a troop of flute-wielding fairies but this is actually a totally natural phenomenon, and it's not the first time it's been spotted either. So if it's not magic, what's really going on here? According to Jeff Ripple, a former Florida Swamp Walk leader, the rainbow sheen you see is actually a thin film which forms as a result of natural oils released by decaying vegetation or the biological processes of anaerobic bacteria reducing iron in the soil. In order for the rainbows to appear, the water needs to be still for long periods of time, as any movement by current or wind disturbances could destroy the fragile film. But when the sun hits the oily film at just the right angle, it's illuminated in all its pastel glory. This has to be the most attractive swamp I've ever seen. In the window of one bridal shop in Chihuahua, Mexico, stands a mannequin that is unlike any other. You may be thinking, what could be so unusual about a shop mannequin? I see them all the time. Well, the spooky thing about this mannequin is that she might not be a mannequin after all. Her name is La Pascualita, and she's becoming something of a local legend as well as a popular tourist attraction. You see, this particular mannequin, according to some, is actually the long-dead daughter of the former shop owner. 
Take one look at La Pascualita and you'll notice that she's far more realistic than any other mannequin you've seen before. Not only is her face astonishingly expressive with thick lashes and a glassy-eyed gaze, but her hands seem to have been constructed with painstaking detail, while storekeepers have claimed that her legs even appear to be lined with varicose veins. As the story goes, the daughter of former shop owner Pascuala Esporaza was preparing to be married when she was bitten by a black widow spider and tragically succumbed to its venom on her wedding day. Not long after her death, the mannequin appeared in the shop window, creating the legend that La Pascualita is actually the preserved corpse of the doomed bride. Customers over the years have claimed that La Pascualita's eyes follow them around the store or that they have turned around to find her in a completely different position. Another variation of the legend claims that she is actually a mannequin, but that a French magician became so obsessed with her that he would visit her window each night and bring her to life. After dancing with her around the town, he would return her to the storefront each morning. The details of the mannequin's origins are almost impossible to confirm, but it seems like the story is good for business at least. When asked about the famous mannequin, the current store owner apparently winked and replied, is it true? I really couldn't say. Which one of these amazing things made your eyes pop out of your head the farthest? Let me know down in the comments below. And why not check out one of the previous episodes of the series next? And don't forget, get in contact with us at clips at beamaze.com. Thanks for watching.